and Nick, we are gathered here today to go on a journey, a journey to 12 meaningful spots throughout Chicago, at six of which you will be exchanging vows that symbolize the 12 years you've been together. I've known you both for as long as you've known each other, meeting you here at Seton Hall at DePaul University, where we all lived during our first year at college, is a fitting starting point for today's ceremony. It is my privilege to officiate the ceremonial journey guiding you both through this unique wedding experience. Seton Hall, where our story began, where we met each other and lifelong friends, where we became independent young adults, where we learned and had so many first and new experiences. I love that we are, and in ways are not, still those kids that walked through these doors in 2010. Mostly, I just love that I met you here when we did. Nick, I promise to love you through every phase of life to come. Mickey, we fell in love on these steps. It was here, even as freshmen in college, that we understood we formed a connection that was extremely meaningful. I said back then, and have said ever since, that yes, we will always be changing and growing, but that's the exciting part to be able to get to support, to encourage and love every part of the people we are continually evolving to be. Lincoln Park Zoo, where we walked together on one of our first nights hanging out, where we couldn't stop talking and laughing and getting to know one another. I know I fell in love with you that night, if not before. It was one o'clock in the morning when we walked down Fullerton Avenue. It's a public zoo, of course it'll be open, I said. And you went with it. Of course, they were not open, but it was a wonderful night full of sprawling conversation and exploration that I'll never forget. Our life really has been a movie. How is it that after 12 years together, every night still feels like a date night? We've made a lot of wildly fun memories together in this theater. From midnight screenings in college to afternoon matinees when life got so busy we could barely stay awake past nine o'clock. We've always prioritized making sure the other finds the fun and joy in life. The Music Box Theater, where we had one big first and many other wonderful dates, where we walked by countless times going to visit friends, shopping, commuting, or just wandering where I love getting to see your face light up and your voice get giddy and your unhinged ability to eat so much popcorn in one city. I love your creativity and that you'll never say no to a movie night. Nick, thank you for bringing a lightness to my life. I promise to have fun with you everywhere we go. at the Chicago Lakefront. You two chose this place to exchange a vow as you have spent so many years in this neighborhood building a life with one another. This place symbolizes where you all have been and what you are continuously building together. This is where you made us go on a freezing day in November 2019 to take engagement photos that really didn't turn out that well. Where we'd walk alone or with each other or with Teeny for hours where we got and get to bask in the beauty of this city and all it has to offer us and others. When I'm at the lake, I feel peace like when you walk into any room. You make me laugh and breathe and find comfort and calm more than anyone or any place. You're my lakefront, my walk through nature, my toes in the sand, though we both really don't like the beach and are afraid of the ocean. You're my peace. Mick, when we have something on our mind, we tend to go all in. That was true in the early days, getting to know each other and true when we built our first home together in this neighborhood. That was a time when we were entering a new stage in our relationship and in our independent lives kicking off our careers. I love how in every domain, we always encourage, support, and champion the moves we make in both the independent sides of life and in those areas we pursue together. As we look to dive into anything together or in our independent sides of life, I promise to always add fuel to your fire so that anything you have on your mind, you have what you need to be all in.
two years ago today, we stood right here and became husband and wife. Pulling into this drive, we had just wrapped up a busy day of work, the pandemic was in full swing, and the visual couldn't be any further from what you initially pictured the kickoff of our marriage would look like. I promise to always be a force of stability in your life and to also prioritize adaptability so that we can continue to make the most of all of life's challenges and opportunities. Whatever comes our way, the hard times and the great times, I'm ready and couldn't be more excited being your partner navigating it all. I look back on that day two years ago exactly and I get a mix of what the hell were we thinking and honest love. It was such an odd choice, but I love you everywhere and I will marry you anywhere, especially twice. We said quick vows slash I do's that all seem like a blur, but I can remember a nervous 18 year old walk to the Lincoln Park Zoo at midnight type energy then and now. Nick, I promise to make mundane moments special and to never hesitate for any reason to celebrate you, our friends and family, and our love. I do the do, baby. <laughs>this ceremony comes to a close, we end here at your home. We've seen a lot of places special to the two of you today, and now we look forward to your journey ahead, recognizing that no matter the places your journey takes you, you always have a home in one another. Nick, you've been my best friend since the day we met. I've loved every day since I've met you, and could not be more excited for a lifetime of bright days ahead. On this roof above our home, I feel the foundation that our partnership has built over these 12 years and feel the excitement of the next chapter in our lives we're about to write together. All that we build in our life, we will do with and for one another. Across all dimensions of our lives, we'll never face anything alone. I love the home we've made here, where we can make a magical night out on the patio around the fire with our plants in the summer. Nick, I want to end with thanking you and promising to always support you like you support me. Thank you for making this home so much more than just a place during some of the hardest days to date. Thank you for being here and being home. Nick, do you take Mickey to be your wife? I do. And Mickey, do you take Nick to be your husband? I do. I love you guys so much. And I now pronounce you husband and wife. And you kiss one another. <laughs> <laughs>